Previously we added sections into our web app. Um, in this video we are going to go into how we can add fonts awesome icons into our React app. So the first thing we need to do is install the relevant libraries or modules within our app. So I'm just going to go to the root of my directory which is uh, my app. If I just do a dir I can see my node modules fo folder and this is the, the folder I want to be in. The first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to install the font font awesome svg core icons next i want to be able to add the fonts awesome free solid svg icons the next library i want to install is the free brands svg icons and last but not least I want to install the react font awesome library Now once all those libraries are installed, and the reason why we've installed those different types of libraries is there are several different icons that are available to us and each of those icons may live in one of those libraries. So just to give you an example of that, in order for us to be able to use those icons, uh, let's just slightly change our setup. So inside of our services section, um, in fact, let's take this section out into its own row. And within that row, let's create a column. And in that column, we will outside of the column first and foremost we'll add the services heading back in and then within here I'm going to bring in a new component so let's go back to our browser and let's search for the app component oh, sorry react bootstrap components rather let's go ahead and grab the card component and I'm going to take this one so let's grab that and the whole purpose of using a framework such as um, such as react is so that we can make reusable components so what I'm going to do inside of my common folder, I'm going to create a new folder and I'm going to call it bootstrap card. And inside of there, I'm going to create a new file called bootstrapcard.tsx and a style sheet called bootstrapcard.css and I'm going to paste in to my bootstrap card tsx file the card snippet which I just copied from the bootstrap website but before I do that let's declare this component Um, 
or card. So let's just indent that correctly. And let's bring in by pressing control dot from the React Bootstrap library. And that will get rid of our compilers. The other thing we want to do is I'm going to go ahead and get rid of the styling in this card. And I'm going to make this card uh, a bit more dynamic. So we're going to declare the props as a type of any. And what we're going to do in here is we're going to make this configurable. So we call it props add title, which will allow us to pass in the title uh, from a top level or a different component rather. Um, for now, I'm going to comment our subtitle because we're not going to need it in this instance. And in here, in the card text element, we'll create a new property and we will call that card description. And for this moment, we're not going to need any links. I'm going to go ahead and control S to save that. Go back to my app.tsx file. And then I'm going to bring in the new bootstrap card component. So that should automatically bring that in. And if it doesn't, then we need to bring it in from the uh, correct um, path. Uh, once that's in and you've got no errors, what we can then do is we can start to declare those properties. So we can say test service one, and then we could declare our other property, which is card description, and we'll say this is a description for our test service. One. Now if you remember I did mention that if we, in a previous video, if we don't declare anything for the column it will take up the, the, the entire space. So let's go back to our browser and we can see that has now refreshed uh, and it has taken up um, kind of all that space available to it. So just going back into our code editor we have forgotten to add the uh, the class properties that we had declared previously so let's just add those back in again so we've got a little bit of color and it is kind of uh, aligned center the other thing I'm going to do is I'm just going to go ahead and copy this a few times over which will give us the, the kind of feel of a real website whereby you declare your services in different cards and then we'll call this test service 2 and sorry, we'll call that test service three rather. And we'll name this test service two. And then we will then have those three separate boxes. Now, of course, yours won't say test service one, two, and three. It'll say your actual services that you provide. Now, just to now show you how we can incorporate incorporate these fonts awesome icons the next thing we do is we can go into the fonts awesome website to find out the icons available to us so if we say fonts awesome icons let me go ahead and click return so fontsawesome.com forward slash icons and then we can search for any icon. So let's just say our service one. We've got here uh, a clock. So let's just search for a clock. And let's pick this one. And as you can see here, we have some instructions on how we can use that. So we're going to go ahead and select React. And we're going to use an individual import. So if we click on that, it'll copy it into our clipboard. Over here, I'm going to create a constant uh, and call this block icon and then paste the relevant code. Now, you will get some errors uh, and that will be because we haven't imported those libraries. So let's go ahead and import 
uh, the fonts awesome icon element from the fonts awesome react fonts awesome library um, and the clock is also unhappy so let's control dot and import that from the free solid SVG icons library which we installed earlier let's search for something else so let's search for I don't know Microsoft for example um, and there you have the Microsoft uh, icon available to us so we're gonna go ahead and click on individual import again copy that and let's create another constant and call it Microsoft icon and we'll paste that in we should get an error which we do so FA Microsoft is not recognized so we hit control dot it will then suggest to us to bring that in from the free brands SVG icons library so if you remember I mentioned we've we've installed several libraries and that's purely so that we can accommodate for these different icons living in those different libraries and are being imported from those different libraries um, and last but not least let's just bring in another icon such as a wrench and we'll go to react individual import and we'll go ahead and pop that in here and say constant um, wrench icon and we'll paste that in there and does that give us an error yes it does let's see where that and that's going to be from the free solid svg icons uh, oh sorry we've already imported that library but we haven't declared that here so now in order for us to be able to use those icons inside of our, of our individual columns the first one I'm going to use is our clock icon the second one I'm going to use is going to be our Microsoft icon and the third font awesome icon I'm going to use is our wrench icon I'm going to go ahead and click Control S so that saves I'm going to bring up my other terminal just to ensure that there's no compilation errors there's no issues found so let's go back into our browser where our react app is kind of uh, loaded and as you can see those icons are there now, how do we make those icons bigger so what we can do is we can inside of here associate those icons with a class so let's just call it clock icon and let's give that one a name of Microsoft icon and let's give that one a wrench icon a name of wrench icon sorry now you could use one class for all of your icons but that might not be appropriate uh, because you might want to have different colors for your different icons at which point obviously you would create different classes um, so just for this example we create three different classes and we will go into our app.css file and then we will go ahead and first and foremost go back and target our clock icon and we'll say the size wants to be 5m and we can do the same for our Microsoft icon and we can do the same for our French icon we go ahead and click save again allow that to compile and click save in our app.tsx file and then if we go to our browser we can see immediately that has been updated now the other thing we can do is we could potentially uh, just below where we declare the services uh, heading we'll just do a line break and a two line break either click control s and it'll just add a bit of space in between the heading and the icons and just below the icon and go ahead under each icon just add a new line break as well hit ctrl s allow that to compile 
and then hopefully that will then update in the browser and add for us our spacing we put that in the wrong place ah we need to add another one sorry and just pop that in there pop that in there and hit control s allow that to refresh and as you can see now there's ample spacing between our icons and our um, our card element now just to go and show you how we can change the color so if we wanted to target all those three icons with the same color then we could simply just do color uh, let's go for white and we go ahead click ctrl s and allow for that to recompile and as you can see now those icons have turned white so that's how you import fonts awesome library into a react project and that's how you can use those we've also gone through how we can change the color and size of those icons as well thank you for watching please don't forget to subscribe comment and like